Money circulates through an economy, starting with direct effects and multiplying through indirect and induced effects. A direct effect can result from a variety of activities, buying an airline ticket, building a house, taking a vacation, eating dinner, and any other activity that starts the movement of a dollar from a person to pay for a good or service. The multiplier effect characterizes the power of that dollar bill recycling or circulating through an economy. As a result of the direct effects, indirect effects manifest themselves in two ways to support the direct business. In one way, money is spent on labor to provide the direct impact, and in another way, money is spent on the local inputs used for the goods or services. During this stage, some dollars leave the cycle in the form of goods being imported from an outside economy, taxes paid to the government, or profits to companies. Following these direct and indirect impacts, induced effects result from household spending. Though some of this also leaves the cycle in the form of payroll taxes and commuters who travel into the economy to work, but live outside the area. This household income goes to work in the economy in the form of expenditures on local goods and services, such as restaurants, grocery stores, vehicle repair, retail shops, and other local businesses. Similarly, though, dollars can flow out of this cycle through imports, personal taxes, and savings. These induced effects will continue to cycle through the economy in the form of dollars changing hands from an individual to a business and back again until the leakages from taxes, imports, and savings exhaust the available money. This process illustrates how a dollar can move through an economy. Dollars will circulate shorter or longer depending on the size and the diversity of the economy.